just discovered uh, another feature or another aspect of the program Impact Stream Clip that I didn't know existed. Uh, basically, I mostly use this program to convert my footage from the Canon 7D, 5D, 600D, Rebel TIs, and all that. But I just discovered that it's, it's, it's beneficial as well to use it for my flip HD footage. Now, what this does is it, it, it cuts down on rendering time when you're editing a Final Cut Pro because when I import a file, a flip HD file directly uh, into Final Cut without um, converting it to a dot move, I have to render it every time I make an edit. Even when I bring it into the timeline, I have to wait for it to render. Now, what this does is it eliminates that in most uh, circumstances. So right here, I'm about to show you um, how to do that now we're gonna go into stream clip I already did it but I'm gonna do it again now one thing you need to realize about stream clip is that you need to have a folder for the original file and then you need to have another folder for the new file that stream clip is going to create so after you have that done open up go to stream clip go to list at the top hit batch list now I'm gonna clear this go through this process again add files Okay, now I'm gonna find a raw flip HD file. Let's see, there's some right here. Okay, you can tell it's a raw flip because it has the VID MPEG-4. I'm gonna pick that, go to batch. Okay, quick time now. See, it's asking for a de destination folder. Okay, so we're gonna put that right here. Select, now this is the, um, this is what I use. I use the Apple XD Cam EX 720p30. Now you find it up in here. Let's see, this is one we're using. So it's the Apple XD Cam EX 720p30. All right. So 1280 by 720 unscaled. Yep, frame size. Frame rate, we want that at 30 because that's what it is. And then we'll go. So now it's, it's encoding and it's about to go out and ready to go into Final Cut Pro. All right, that's done. Okay, we're gonna get out a stream clip. Now we're gonna be in Final Cut right here. Now check this out. This is a file right here that was not a flip HD file that was not put through stream clip. Now watch what it does. I'm about to put it in the timeline. Look at that. Look at that. I gotta wait for render, y'all. I got a command R. Now I gotta wait. Okay, but check this out. Cancel. Command Z. Now check this out. Here's a here is a file that I put through a flip HD file put through stream clip. Now watch what this do. Ah, look at that. No red line. So we can get get to cutting right away. Let's show you. Make a little cut on it real quick. Alright, move this over. Look at that. Still no red line. You see that's and you can continue to edit and cut and do what you gotta do. So I hope that was helpful for you. Um, like I said, uh, stream clip is beneficial for your flip HD as well as the Canon 7D, 5D, and etc. All right, talk to you next time. Peace.